BJP Manipur President A. Sarda says hidden agenda of 60-year-old regime of Congress brought prevailing turmoil in Manipur. Says BJP is working in accordance with public sentiment to restore peace. Amukok says Government of India must not take any decisions which will affect administration, territory and peaceful coexistence in Manipur. Irate mob nabs auto rickshaw driver and burns down his vehicle at Thangweban Sinam Laikai, Ching Kong on allegations of transporting commodities for Koki individuals. An RPI Athawali National Secretary Maheshwar Thaunauzam says Union Home Minister Amit Shah has given assurance that Manipur's territorial integrity will not be compromised. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin. I'm Bhavina Zarmin bringing the top stories and latest news at this hour. BJP Manipur Pradesh President A. Sarda assures people of Manipur that the party is working in accordance with public sentiment and making efforts to restore peace and normalcy in the state. Addressing media at Thambal Sangland in Imphal today, A. Sarda called for public corporations. She condemned the politis politi of the current crisis and place blame on the 60-year long regime of the Indian National Congress, INC, alleging that the Congress had a hidden agenda that contributed to the present turmoil. She alleged that it was the hidden agenda of the Congress that Manipur's Kavo Valley was given away to the Myanmar during the tenure of Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. She maintained that the Congress should accept its past actions as the cause of suffering for the people of Manipur. A. Sharda said Prime Minister Narendra Modi has already shown his commitment to bring peace in Manipur on the parliament floor. She reminded that Union Home Minister Amit Shah had visited the state and Union Minister of State for Home stayed in Manipur for almost a month to resolve Manipur crisis. But the Union Home Minister of India didn't come to Manipur during the 1992-1993 Naga Kuki clash and Kuki Paite clash. She added that even during the Maite and Maite Pangal conflict, a fact-finding team of BJP MPs visited Manipur, whose report was presented in the Rajya Sabha and received a response from the and Union Home Minister. The party president maintained that the roles and responsibilities taken by the BJP to resolve the prevailing turmoil is far more than what the Congress did during the past conflicts. Manipur Prajagi sentiment Kangna, a koi hotna jari, Prajasin na cooperation PBU, Prajasin gi, a koi support, a koi cooperation, aduna, a koi solution, pura pada achauba, mateng oigani have a say, masi a Prajasin the message, tamjage, adumba tongan tongan, political party singna, political lies, tongna bo hotna ba, barot ki pradhan mantri, barot ki home minister singbu, yamna responsibility, log the badona uba se, masum bo wahi watase, yamna pazedaba, mawonga, have a say a koi, masi, tobogi mahut. Manipur Prezabu in the Chikna Santi Lena, Leiba Yana Nabagi, positive Chatnabayaba, suggestion Madu, when a Tambana Pagani. Old Manipur Muslim Organization Coordinating Committee Amukok says the government of India must not take any decisions which will affect the administration, territory and peaceful coexistence in Manipur. Amukok President Singamayum Jalal said this on the sidelines of a public discourse on present ethnic and political turmoil in Manipur, jointly organized by Amukok and other like-minded organizations today at Komidok Kaitel Community Hall. Speaking to media, SM Jalal informed that during the meeting, decision was met to let Indian leaders and international forums aware about the stance of Muslims in Manipur on the prevailing crisis. He also appreciated the Mitai community for communicating with pa Mitai Pangal organizations and CSOs to clear the doubts and misunderstandings of some people belonging to Mitai Pangal community in the wake of violence. Jalal added that a task force of Mitai Pangal CSOs and volunteers was formed during the meeting. He said the task force will work at the local level to keep a check on misunderstandings among the people. 
ekhoi Manipur ge Bali dalai minari ba mai tai ichili nau sing na pungning nungai roi daba sentiment sok ka daba thabak sing thoi ba irang a sige manung da Manipur ge pangan singe mai kai dagi tana gu mana torom ba tar ga de madu Manipur ge pangan khunai na madu ge dai ta lau roi torom yo miyo sing adu na ma sa ma sa gi ba mara nai adu ma responsibility lau ka daba ni hai ba pham cheng a si na hong na na mu ka han na phirep lau ri Manipur kai ba ya ba gi tangkak kari gom ba bharat dengak na phirep lorok ba tar ga de Manipur ge pangan khunai na no stone an turn chap cha ba thabak tong na na ba gi da makta lau pham thok ba dai ta khoi lau na na ba gi da makta a chet ba phirep na si mi pham na lau ri a mob apprehended an auto rickshaw driver today on allegations of transporting cloths and other items for cookie individuals in his auto rickshaw. The mob also torched down the auto rickshaw bearing registration number MN01U5447 along with the items inside the vehicle. Driver of the vehicle is Muhammad Tiken from Porompat Pangal, Lairak. According to information available from the site, Muhammad Tiken was transporting the items allegedly belonging to a cookie woman from Imphal to bus parking when he was stopped by some unidentified individuals. After interrogating the driver, the mob reportedly burned down the vehicle and its contents. At Thangwai Ban Sinam Lai Kai Ching Kong, in consultations with President of the Old Manipur Mitai Bangal Club Organization, F.M. Manohar Ali. Tangai ban sinam lekai sing khong da prom pat pangal lai rakta ki pangal isili lao mana koi kuki ki pot chai khara holam mai bi ki kano de miam na yo hor ko pot se phare phara ba matung da ma ma sa bodi miam na kan bi re na phi re miam na koi kanglup ani ki marak ta na tawo khan khan gani hai bi ki thong ning da ba thok thok pai ai hai bi ki wa khalon da ma ko de kan bi re aduga ma ki ma na purai ba pot purai ba motor bekal otori so se si su miam lai ri ba lekai ki club mara pai bi sing na di ma kal la se hai ba wa rep lao ba ni adu bu miam ni yo na miam na Madre, Madam the Magi of Tosin, Matung Makata, the Port Puragati, Madu, Canada Titaloni, Hibiki, Wangamala, Avenina, Masida, Miamna, Magi of Tosisu, Port Puriba, Kuki, the Port Pinim, for able to resources, my Tadoka, and Miamna, whatever Lore. National Secretary of the Republican Party of India, RPI Atawale Meheshwar Thonaujam, says Union Home Minister Amit Shah has given assurance that the unity and territorial integrity of Manipur will not be compromised. Meheshwar conveyed this assurance after his meeting with Union Home Minister Amit Shah, during which he submitted a memorandum containing five points. Speaking to the media, Thonaujam explained that the memorandum included five demands, which are revocation of suspension of Operation Sue with Koki Militant implementation of National Register of Citizens NRC in Manipur, removal of Assam rifles from the state, no separate administration and restrictions on using Torbung Bangla for burying cookies. In response to these demands, Union Home Minister Amit Shah reportedly assured that measures would be taken to restore normalcy and safeguard the territorial integrity of Manipur. Maheshwar also urged the Union Home Minister not to engage in talks with the Indigenous Tribal Liberation Front, ITLF, alleging that none of its members are from Indigenous Koki community and therefore do not represent them. He called for both the ruling and opposition parties to refrain from politicizing Manipur crisis and criticized certain MPs for providing false reports to national media during their visit to Manipur. कई वुमेन जो उस दिन थर्ड थर्ड में को इतना मतलब रेप किया गया गैंग रेप कर किया गया वो मतलब ये सामने आ रहा है अभी मतलब अभी तक आप लोग सोचते होंगे कि होल इंडिया मस्ट बी आस्किंग कि अभी तक कहां थे क्यों ओपन नहीं आए तो एक एक ऐसे ओरिजिनल मणिपुरी होने के नाते ऐसे मैतई होने के नाते आप लोगों को बोलना चाहता हूं कि इसलिए अपने फैमिली के डिग्निटी के लिए सोच के सोसाइटी के लिए सोच के वो अपने आप को मतलब डर रहे थे मतलब बहुत सारा लड़की को रेप किया गया पर अभी दे आर फाइटर्स नाउ अभी मतलब मदरलैंड के लिए सोच के अपनी मातृभूमि के लिए सोच के मणिपुर अभी वो लोग ब्रेक करना चाहता है मणिपुर को बंटवारा करना चाहता है वो मतलब सब सोच के मैतई वुमेन का जो करेस है वो सामने आकर आ रहा है एक दिन ब दिन जैसे देखिए 9 अगस्त पे 37 ईयर ओल्ड का एक हमारा सिस्टर ने वो एफआईआर लॉन्च किया है कि तीन तारीख को इतना बुरी तरीके से कि नारको टेररिस्ट ने उन लोग उसके साथ इतना चोरचांपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में कितना बुरी तरीके से उसके साथ रेप किया गया था वैसे ही वो सिर्फ वो नहीं है इतने सारे एक दिन ब दिन निकल के आएंगे Legal awareness program come interaction program on prevailing chaos in Manipur was held today at Kwakaitel Mayai Koibi Mamangli Kai Community Hall. Manipur Weekers Development <laughs> Trust organized the program, which was attended by retired IAS R.K. Nimai as moderator. 
Retired session judge Aribam Notunesori, Professor Chinglen Maisnam of Economics Department, Manipur University, and head of law department, Manipur University, Associate Professor Yumnam Premananda were the resource persons. Speaking at the program, Professor Chinglen Maisnam said the demand of separate administration by Kuki community is impossible to achieve, and even the central leaders have reiterated that the demand cannot be fulfilled. He stressed that the only thing that all the communities in Manipur could do is to strive for equal development and progress. While Associate Professor Yumnam Premananda elaborated on violations of Sioux ground rules by Koki militants, women, folks, elderly people and youth attended the event. Suspension operation the hex sign to work at the limit to get them a problem for later. Okay, no, more in hand, immediately you can trade. Sign to the leaders in the Kanakana, they are genuine. Citizen of India, high machine, two year home driven, foreigner, your fellow men signed over to them. I do the shoe, machine, I'm guiding as any Canada. I don't talk with the Tabak over the young papers, the Hakua to the Tabak toy, whether Asana Pro, Government India, or where Government Pro, where the total of the level, the Toro, signed over to the Toro, 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 the Locals of Tyrant Pokpi village today took out hesitations against the attempt by government to remove state forces from the area. Expressing their concern, Tyrant Pokpi Apunba Mayrapai Billup said removal of state forces from the area would expose the villagers to the constant attacks by Kuki militants. A member of the association Angom Lata said the villagers were expecting government to send more state forces personnel as Tyrant Pokpi village is located in a vulnerable area. But to remove the already inadequate state forces personnel from the area is unfortunate. She demanded the government to cancel the order, else also warned of hesitations. It may be mentioned that Kuki militants and state forces have earlier engaged in heavy gunfights in Kangchup Hill Rains, which is located near Tyren Pokpi village. And lately, armed Kukis who came to harvest pineapples reportedly opened fire towards Tyren Pokpi village. Women, folks in valley areas continue to take out protests condemning the alleged gang rape of Maite women by armed cookie miscreants in Churachanpur on May 3. Women Welfare Association organized a sit-in at Uripok Sorbonne Tingel Haurongbam Lekai. Participants chanted slogans demanding government to hand over the gang rape case to the CVI and against the demand of a separate administration. Speaking on the sidelines, Joint Secretary of Women Welfare Association, Yumnam Romita, questioned the silence of Prime Minister and Chief Minister in the gang rape case of a Maite woman. Ta whom hinza la kwasi bogda mahaki adugu ma koi gi maitei gi di nupi gi izat asi yam na sixin na koi luna thamzei mang na pongdok ta na ngasi bogda le rakpani adu butang mari pi thongda ban nupi msa ani gi budi Manipur sarkar na amadi Narendra Modi na lebak sin matung na bahar sin matung na bahar video salhan duna Narendra Modi gi mamit panga kwa mana mana tarakpa adu budi loy na bog sibi ayda ma koi gi case bogda sin na gi koi gi izat nupi si gi izat mangan ki bado Manipur da le riba mama ay koi gi thamoi na yaza ningde adu na koi na bahar sarkar da hajza ningi ay koi Isa Sigi the Makta di Karigumakara, Tawaningi, Aduga Hai Riba, Pete Hong the Saliba, Ani Sigi di, a quick governor now, Chasam Buddha Satuna Lupa, Lak Taraka Hobo Pikimani, a quick Isaki the Makta di Karito Viduri. Mayang Imphal Apunba Nupi Lup also took out protest in Mayang Imphal Bazaar today, condemning the alleged gang rape of a Maite woman in Churachanpur by cookies on May 3. Lamjing Mera Women Association also organized similar protests at Langjing Achoba Mamang Lekai. Mayang Imphal Konchak Makalaikai Mera Pai Bilub has submitted a memorandum to Chief Minister Nongthombam Birain demanding stern actions against the culprits of the Churachanpur gang rape case and also to hand over the case to the CBI. The memorandum was submitted to the Chief Minister through Imphal West District Deputy Commissioner. Liching Jiribam decides to call off the public curfew in Jiribam district following an agreement after a meeting with Jiribam MLA, MD Achapuddin and top police officials of Jiribam district. Speaking in this regard, President of Liching Jiribam, W. Dinesh said the public curfew was announced against the conduct of Jiribam SP to people who participate 
who participated in a peace rally on August 10. He thanked people of Jirivam for their support during the public curfew. Relay Sisoko is at Nabagi, Namakta Hoi, Sim Sajari, High Book and Osses, Miana Mapung Pana Corporation, Pira Kanda, G. the Hoi, Mahusagum Santi, Hanjalang Nabagi, Lorena and Manipudo, who is the Tangu Letada, Piva Malayibasi, Hoi Punna, G. the Labour Tonga Tonga, Kangu Singh, Hoi Labour, Lati Labour Mamsi, Loyna Punjala Kanda Singh, Miko Rosu, the Muslim Giorosu, Bengali Giorosu, Mate Pangal Rosu, Samana G. the Labour Mamsi Pulaga, Hoi Apunbo Konjadasi Santi, Konjadasi, Hoi Amuk Mahatana, Satara Kodasu, Hoi Miana Su Corporation, Pira Punna, Saruka Minasi, Preparations are going on full swing to hold the 30th General Conference of Naga Students Federation on Solitarily Beyond Borders team at Ukrul headquarters from August 24 to 26. Briefing media at Tangkul Katam Nau Saklong, TKS office located at Ukrul headquarters in Ukrul district, convener of the organizing committee of Naga Students Federation General Conference, Eno Worthing Haram said, the apex body of Tankul student bodies, the Tankul Katam Nau Saklong, will host the 13th Naga Students Federation General Conference, which will be participated by student delegates from Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, and neighboring Myanmar. Eno Worthing Haram said, the upcoming conference will be a historic event. The Naga Student Federation has decided to organize conference at Ukru, choosing the term solitary beyond borders. So on behalf of the local organizing committee we have prepared and welcome all the delegates and dignitaries who are to participate to the general conference of NSF. I also like to appeal to the all the delegates and also well wishes to come and participate with us being humbly. Proscribed Kangli Park Communist Party sends greetings and honor to all revo revolutionary groups, organizations, and people of Kangli Park and Wizia Reason on the occasion of 19th Raising Day of its Armed Unit, Miyamgi Fingang Lanmi. A press note issued by Military Affairs Committee of KCP MFL also extends heartfelt honor to marchers of Manipur on the eve of Marchers Day observation on August 13. While accusing Indian government of using debite and destroy policy, the militant outfit claims that the present crisis in Manipur is a pre-planned attack. And the same is proven by a personal diary belonging to a Kuki militant leader, which was recovered after expelling Kuki encroachers at Jau Wang, Nazareth and Kosofai. The outfit says the present and generation needs to respond to the threat posed on people of the land. Proscribed Alliance for Socialist Unity Kangli Park boycotts Independence Day celebrations of India on August 15. Press release from the outfit calls statewide shutdown from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on August 15. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on greetings from Governor, Chief Minister and other leaders on Petroid's Day. So keep watching Impact News. Join Graphic Era deemed to be University Dehradun, ranked 55th University in India by NIRF 2023 and placed in rank band of 300 to 400 engineering institutions in the world by Times Higher Education, Washington, D.C. Exceptional placement records, Graphic Era. Transforming dreams into reality. Mindanao Institute of Aviation and Hospitality, Changangai Airport Road. Admission open for commercial pilot training, air horses training, airport operations and airline management, Diploma in Hotel Management, Bachelor in Vocational in Hotel Management, with exclusive on-campus interview, placement assistance sale, and scholarship facilities. More than 150 placements in last few months at reputed airlines and hotel industry. For more details, please contact Maidingo Institute of Aviation and Hospitality. Nagamapal Rims Road Junk Center Labor Luminan Skin Clinic na Sammamadi Skin Gi Advanced and Latest Technology Treatment Gi Kudong Chaba Kaya Pizari. Clinic Asida Ayuk Pung Tra Makai Dagi Nungthil Pung Manga Makai Fauba Dermatologies Consult Taubugi Kudong Chaba Sulaigani. For more details, please contact 9863882960. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. Governor Anushia Uike conveys Petroid's Day wishes to all the people of Manipur. The governor says the occasion reminds us of our heroic forefathers like Beard Tikender Jit, Thangal General, Chirai Naga, Bukrambam Kazao, 
Niranjan Subedar and others who made supreme sacrifices for the cause of the freedom and motherland. Governor Anushriya Uike urges all to pledge to stand and fight against all those who challenge the freedom and integrity of the nation, irrespective, irrespective of caste, creed, religion and other differences. Ahead of the Petroids Day on August 13, Chief Minister Nongthombam Birain joins the people of Manipur in paying homage to the fallen heroes of Manipur who laid down their lives in the 1891 Anglo-Manipuri War. In his message, the Chief Minister says, On this very day, Yuvras Dikendrajit and Thangal General laid down their lives valiantly in defense of their motherland. He added that the day reminds us of the supreme sacrifices made by our brave forefathers who valued freedom and sovereignty more than their lives. And Biren stresses that the present generations should reflect on their thoughts and deeds as one rising above all differences against forces who wish to disintegrate the state. Mahut Minister Yumnam Kemchan also pays homage to great forefathers who laid down their lives in defending Manipur's freedom and sovereignty from the British invaders on eve of Petroid's Day. Chairman of Manipur Industrial Development Corporation Limited Manipur and Mayang Imphal MLA Konkam Robindro also pays homage to marches on the occasion of Petroid's Day. The MLA calls upon everyone to acknowledge and follow the paths and principles of the courageous forefathers who fought against the British. The 7th Foundation Day of Manipur State Film and Television Institute MSFTI, was celebrated in low-key manner at its premises in Palace Compound Imphal today. MSFTI was established under the Art and Culture Department Government of Manipur. Speaking on the occasion, MSFTI Director Birendra Salam said that the institute had conducted several film film courses and is now all set to introduce various courses. He also encouraged the film fraternity to give suggestions for the enhancement of film industry of Manipur. Birendra appealed to film lovers to attend film courses in the coming days. Several personalities from cinema attended the celebrations. Central Library of Jennings Parampatam Fal Manipur, Library Associations and State Central Library jointly observed National Library Day 2023 at the relief camp open at the residence of social worker Mayang Lambam Binot in Kakching Kunau Hizam Angomlikai. Manipur Library Association Mala President R.K. Rameshwar, Jennings Central Library Chief Librarian Dr. Saubham Sofia Rani, Mala Ex President El Sobita, Mala Executive Member R.K. Debarita, and others spoke on importance of libraries on the occasion. Director of Ira Finance and Birla Emporium, Yumnam Irabanta, appealed to the public not to believe in rumors related to Ira Finance and Birla Emporium. Addressing the media today at Manipur Press Club in Imphal, Ira Banta said a new office of Ira Finance and Birla Emporium is open at Thangweban Polem Laikai. He gave the assurance that Birla Emporium will continue to repay its investors. Birla Emporium Private Limited, Hana Luang Sangam de Lerambani, Monday the Gi, Live Monday the Gi, Thangweban Polem Laikai, near Animal Zimda, Office of C. Lebak Miam, the Amadi, Marie Leba Singda, Office Hangani, Lady Habudi Pau Pizabani. Isagi, number Pizaki Aduda, Isaac and a message dropped to Biru, Mangasu Hankre, Hazixu Halli, Hayan Nixum Hangani, nine seven seven four one eight three five one two. Message to Biru Aduga, Isai Sagi, Pangam Toba Singdo, Adikara Galwena, Asagi Office, Amagi Culture, the High Riba, International Central License Piraba, Amagi Culture, Hita, like I saw Hibigi Culture of the every one thousand six hundred. Eleven six single single co high big photo. Lebak me am a saki or a ga. Moina Pankiba company property me am the Muda direct direct pitu obani. Salai Apunba Nupi Lamzing Lup Sanulal has donated essential items to relief camps open at Kumbi, Lengang, Tabi, Community Hall, Hop Homestay. Takiel Khongban and Laimaram High School. Sanulal also issued a warning that if the culprits of Churachanpur gang rape were not arrested and appropriately punished, they would initiate hesitations. 
Jiana Helping Group Kongpal Kongkham Laikai has also extended relief materials including medicines and baby food supplements to the relief camps open at Ringo Youth Club Kaibi Haikak Mapal Taret Khul UFO headquarters North Number no. 5 Oyumpok Pukhau Life Farm and Pukhau Santipur Vivekananda Rok Memorial and Vivekananda Kendra Manipur branch have provided blankets, sanitary items and books on the teachings of Swami Vivekananda to relief camps open at Old A's Home Kakching, SCST Hostel KMC, Lamjao Upper Primary School and Thongzhao and Jadumani Farm. The relief materials were sponsored by Disaster Relief Cell of Vivekananda Kendra Kanyakumari. Education Director L. Nanda Kumar today inaugurated the newly constructed Kakyai Upper Primary School at Langpo Kakyai Tona Kangzebung. The school was built under the 15 Finance Commissions. A day long integrated communication and outreach program on the topic Mera Mati Mera Desh, Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsab, Nine Years of Seva, Susasan, and Gharif Kalyan was held at Japo Village in Chandel District. The program was organized by Central Bureau of Communication, Field Office Chandel. Villagers were informed about various central schemes and also means to take benefits through those schemes. A rally along with group discussions and quiz competitions was also held as part of the program. Now the sports news. Manipur emerges as overall champion at the 22nd Junior Boys and Girls National Wushu Championship held from August 6 to 11 at Patliputra Sports Complex, Patna. Team Manipur back a total of 27 medals comprising 12 gold medals, 8 silver medals and 7 medals at the championship. Altogether, 31 boys and girls from Manipur competed in various Wushu events at the championship. Arjuna Awardi M. Bimol Jit was the team coach of Manipur. Managers meeting of the 16 Manipur State League will be held at the artificial turf ground Lamlong Thongkong tomorrow at 9 a.m. The meeting will discuss for successful conduct of the 16 Manipur State League under the ages of All Manipur Football Association this September. Nine renowned football teams of Manipur, namely AFC Thaubal, Muvanlai Athletics, Manipur Police Sporting Club, Neroka FC Sangakfam, YPHU Lalambung, Nako Nambul Mapal, Trao FC Kwakaitel, Classic FA Ching Meirong and KSC are competing in the upcoming league. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. BJP Manipur Pradesh A. Sharda says hidden agenda of 60 years old regime of Congress brought prevailing turmoil in Manipur. Says BJP is walking in accordance with public sentiment to restore peace. Amokok says government of India must not take any decisions which will affect administration, territory and peaceful coexistence in Manipur. Irek mob naps auto rickshaw driver and burns down his vehicle at Thangweban Sinam Laikai Chingkong on allegations of transporting commodities for booking individuals. An RPI Athawali National Secretary Maheshwar Thaunauzam says Union Hall Minister Amit Shah has given assurance that Manipur's territorial integrity will not be compromised. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipur Bulletin. So have a great evening and stay safe. Sri Sri Gaurajan Rai Nama. Kurbasram Dekwe Khwai Bukon Biramba.